Hello, so we're going to show you the new features of ProDesign 3D. So starting off, we will I've shrunk the model down just so we can show some of the features. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select this motor. We show how Rivet currently works with it at the moment. I'm just going to reset this back to the furthest path. So this is one of the scenarios that we have within the model. So this is set on furthest path. What I'm going to just go through is showing how the cable reads work. I'm going to select the motor. And then I'm going to select the routine, the new Trimble ProDesign 3D routing path. So I select the routing path. You'll notice that everything else grays out on the river schedule. And then we essentially select the containment for the system to do the route. So as you can see here, I'm just routing back to the source, which is over here, which is this distribution board. If I want to leave this view at any point, I either hit exit on the keyboard or right click. So I'm just going to hit exit and that's exited out just to show that the path within Rivet has been rerouted. I'm just going to hit the edit path and you can see that the route's been re-edited. I'm going to do the same thing with this light fitting here just to show the complete workflow process. So I'm going to select route. It's going to go through the thing. It's refresh and then I'm going to select the items through the routing back to the source, which is the distribution board. Again, I can right click cancel. That will make the changes. I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to use the show route. You can see here the stock green item showing the route back to the board. Um, which leads quite nicely on to showing other bits in relation to this. So I'm going to select this motor. I'm actually going to select everything in this area. So I'm going to select everything in this area and I'm going to say show route. So this sets up a temporary view showing you all the routes within the model. Don't worry about that bit. So now this shows you all the routes around the system. So you can see up here, I've got some data cables that aren't quite rooted on the tray wheel. So we'll just go back into that in a minute and route those back to the source, which is over here um, in relation to that. So then we can have a full model with everything rooted. So just if you want to come out of this, you either hit exit or finish. I'm going to hit the finish button this time. So we're going to go into this one here. We're going to say we're going to route the path onto this one as well. We're going to select the route back to the source. Now you can select every tray component if you want or you can go to one that's fairly close to where there's a break, select the item and then that will route it back. At the moment you can only route one path at a time which is fine but it does do what you need to do in Ascension and it's a lot quicker than trying to do it via Revit's methodology. So exit out of that. Just to show the show routing bit again. So show route you can see all the routes starting to populate into the system. As there's more loads, it will run a bit slower than if there's less. So it's just going to tell me the accesses because that's when I was doing some work on the sockets, but that's not a problem. Okay, that. And now you can see all the routes are path, routing back onto the tray and round into the system. So that's that aspect of it. Those two items in themselves fairly decent features but the bit that's probably going to be more interesting is if I go into the lighting layout I'm just going to delete this one out quickly delete we go into the lighting layout here I'm going to highlight everything in here I'm going to use the create view model this will then create a temporary view that will be copied. So at the moment there's nothing shown in here. Generally when we do the original this will show. Um, so I've just opened up the VG. I'm just going to go to the line style and I'm going to switch this on. And this will be applied for all anyway so that shouldn't be a problem anyway from that perspective. So now you can see all the routes for the lighting all routed back through the source back to this board over here and you can also actually see the data which is coming through on this model as well. So you can see how everything's reached on the drawings. Quite a useful feature from that side. What I'm going to do is just go into the power layouts as well. Do the same process again. I'm going to highlight everything in here. Go to create view. 
and you can see here that the routes have automatically been populated and you can see all the routes routing back so you can see the motor connected onto the tray routing round and so you can actually use these for routing drawings to customers as well so good way of doing your QA checking from that perspective so that's where we will stop for the routing aspects of the modeling and you can see here again it's created a layout right the next bit I'm going to go into my full 3d view model so one of the things that we've had quite a lot of um, people asking us about is the date has been able to do multiple changes within the model at once so when you first use this you would select the data entry this would create open up a data dialog which can be seen here and that's what it'll generally be floating so what I'm going to just do for the moment is I'm going to dock this in here dock it into the river schedule just so I've got it live in the project as well I'm just going to make this model a little bit smaller so within here there's a number of places you can get to the data entry um, aspect different aspects related to the data entry this side chair is where you can do different types of ways of selecting stuff so this is showing hard showing and hiding errors in the data multiple selected clients with different items updating data automatically with an auto refresh which is over here and selecting the board list so that you'd use this to then select from a direct board so at the moment i've got nothing selected now what i can do if i wanted to have a look at this you could select this board here and this board here to have a look at um in relation to that so i'm going to select this one and this one I'm going to switch that off because that will help. So I'm going to select this board. So at the moment, what it's doing is just going running through a validation to pull everything in relation to that. And I'm going to select this board here. So now I should have two boards selected. So I'm just going to make this a bit bigger. So now I've got two boards. So I've got DB4 and DB6 shown in here. Now one of the things maybe is I want all my I want all my protection to be a specific type. So I can select all the protection in here, go into here, and let's say I want it to be uh, MCB rather than an RCB, and I want it to be type C's. So I select this, click the item, select auto, click that through. All the devices have automatically been changed for the whole system that's all been selected within here, which is useful especially when you want to do multiple changes all at once other items so we've got the detail side of things as well so this is everything related to the cable so you can make changes to certain parameters so you won't be able to make changes to connected items you may not be able to change the names and items from that perspective but they are there and you can filter those out so if you wanted to filter to only look at l1 items you can do that by here or you can clear filters to then show you everything. So you've got that option available to you. So one of the things I may have to do within my project is I've got some cables that I've selected and I've already put the Euro class in. Well, these ones are going to be a slightly different Euro class. Now I am just selecting things that I at random, but we can do that, apply that. It's going to ask me, do I want to do multiples? And I can make those changes quite quickly without actually having to go into every dialog, which is quite useful. Um, one of the other things is I might want to change from the rivet wiring types that um, are, def are wired in with the ProDesign mapping system. Now, we've automatically assigned a particular wire type to rivet wiring type to a ProDesign, but say you don't want to use those, you can go, well, actually, I don't want to use those particular cable types. When I do this, I want to actually use a different type, so I want to use a 4D4 multi-core thermo the armored cable so i can do the same thing changes you'll notice that everything's gone in bold here the reason everything's gone in bold is to say this is not in line with the rivet model so you may want to relook at this or potentially change the rivet wiring tile if you do want to reset back to the original you click the little lock just select somewhere else and then this will then refresh the data this can be done for everything so certain items so example every time you see this lock this will always identify that this is a rivet mapping item but you can make changes to multiple things so for example i want to say actually all of these are going to be on ladder so i'll make that change on the ladder 
this will make all the changes so everything will change and you can do the same process for grouping cpcs protection and for loading so it just speeds up your processing when working with this um, quite drastically if you wanted to do this on a board level so you only want to work on certain boards you click this button here we then select that item and then we go right i want to work on db10 so I've got some mismatching items and that's not really a problem in relation to that, but I can change that. Just to show that again, I could say I want to work on the main board. So I select the main board. I can then go right, okay, these items, okay, well, actually I don't want these to be uh, BSADF users. I want them to be ACBs and I want them to be LSGs. Click that through. Okay, I want to make those changes and then all the changes are applied within the model. And that's literally everything related to ProDesign's new improvements um, in relation to cable routing and data. So thank you for listening.